What's going on, Chosen One? It's your big brother, Trend. You tuned in once again to another exclusive video. Don't I got something to tell you? Listen, don't click off this video because I'm about to tell you something that you already know. All right? I'm just going to confirm it to you to let you know you are not crazy. All right? Stay tuned to the end of this video. You already know at the end of the video, I got something very special for you. All right? If you don't watch this video to the end, then you must be a Decepticon. Okay? Okay? <laughs> this video is only for chosen ones only chosen ones you can relate to everything i'm about to tell you in this video so listen do me a favor if you know you a chosen one right now and you blowing up i need you to give me a thumbs up right now to confirm that you blowing up give me a thumbs up on this video so we can get the algorithm up folks and do me another favor comment below and let me know what you blowing up in what is it that you do all right Put your hustle down in the comment section right now to go ahead and manifest it into the universe because you're going to get it. All right. That's why you're blowing up right now. But listen, one thing I got to let you know is this. Chosen one, you have to move in silence when you blowing up. OK, I don't know what your problems is or nothing that you're going through in your life. Personally, I don't I don't know. But I can proudly say if I had to take a guess. The reason why you're going through the problems and the, the trials and the tribulations that you're going through right now is because you're not really moving in silence like you're supposed to. You still clinging to things that no longer serve you. And God is trying to get you to understand that. OK, chosen one, you have to move in silence when you're blowing up. OK, if God got something for you, something special for you, he don't want everybody in on it. That's one thing you got to understand about God. God, your God that you serve is not the same God that everybody else serve. You got to get out of that mindset. Oh, God, God for everybody. Listen, we don't know who, who God they serve. But you, if you know who God you serve, I know the God I serve. His son, Jesus Christ, died for our sins. That's the God I serve. I don't know about you. Okay. But see, everybody, that, that ain't everybody God. So... You can't worry about everybody else. You can't. You're not here to please everybody else. I don't know who I'm talking to, but you a people pleaser. You a people pleaser. You want everybody to see you as this special person. You feel like you got to give what you get from God to everybody else in order for you to be like acknowledged or accredited. You can't do that no more. You got to give that up. I keep telling you now it's all about you chosen one you got to move in silence when you blowing up this girl booked the session with me this woman booked the session with me i just got off the phone with her right after i left the gym she stay out in the bay area in california 33 years old work a really good job talented woman professional no kids unmarried look good but guess what? She's very unhappy right now because one of her best friends stole her vision from her and then went and took her vision and became successful with her idea. And she is pissed and she's been pissed for a long time. But I had to tell her the same thing that I'm telling you in this video right now, chosen one. Listen, you got to learn how to move in silence now. All right. It ain't no more just running, hey, hey, ain't no more all that parading along with the crowd, trying to be seen and stuff like that. You got to start moving like the president. If you want to be a presidential person, you got to start moving like the president. If you an exclusive person, you can't let everybody see you no more. Some of y'all girls be out here on the internet, all flamboyant, all on the scene. Listen, if you, the real exclusive women, they not even seen don't nobody even know who they is. Huh? You ain't know? Bro, you cannot be all hot now. You can't be hot, bro. Being hot all being hot all the time. Being on the spot in the spotlight all the time, bro. Dudes be hating. You feel me? And the, see, here's the thing. This is why you gotta move in silence, chosen one. You don't wanna attract attention to you, man. You don't wanna attract attention to you at all period you don't want nobody to know what you got you feel me if you very intelligent you don't want nobody to know that you intelligent when you get in a room with people you got to be quiet just shut up they don't need to they don't need to see you they don't need to know what you know keep it to yourself Shh. 
The smartest one in the room is the quietest one in the room. You know what I mean? Stop telling people about your relationships and stuff. Stop, stop telling people who you friends with. Okay? Remember, chosen one, this is all about self-realization. The key word in self-realization is self. And listen, people are gonna call you arrogant. So what? So what? Whoever came up with the word arrogant and just somebody who got no confidence in themselves and they, th and they want to think they want you to think that everybody that got confidence in themselves is arrogant listen you be arrogant as much as you want to be it ain't nothing wrong with lo loving yourself and and seeing the, the best in yourself because god see the best in you god see the best in you god said i don't see the flaws in you like everybody else do you understand see people gonna be the ones that critique you and judge you and tell you what you can and cannot do that's people Ah, you can't do this. You can't do that. You ain't this way. You ain't pretty. You ain't fly. Nah, you need to dumb down yourself. You need to damn your life. That's what people gonna say because they don't want you to shine harder than them. But see, when you blowing up, you when you blowing up, you got to be silent in your light. Now, see, one, here's one thing you gotta understand. I know your light is very bright, but see, that's why you gotta be silent because if your light is bright and you got good vibrations everywhere you go. You don't got to do nothing most of the time like everybody else do. I mean, you're going to see people trying to take over the environment, trying to get everybody to look at them and stuff like that. You're going to see people trying so hard for attention. But the, I'm telling you, but the people that got the attention is the people who let that vibration speak for them. You got to learn how to let your vibration speak for you. You don't even you shouldn't even have to say a word. You shouldn't even have to move a finger. And people just know you got it. Somebody comment below and say, I got it, big bro. I got what you talking about. Let me know. Comment below and say, I got it. See, some people act like they got it. You know what I'm saying? Some people, they, they got to wear the pearls. They got to have on the designer clothes. He got to have on the hottest shoes and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Some people make you think they got it. You know what I'm saying? They try to tell you how to live your life, try to give you a little inspiration and stuff. You know what I mean? Some people, some people, some people can play. Don't get me wrong. They real good. You know what I mean? But they ain't really got it. You know what I'm saying? That's a lot of quarterbacks out there. But Patrick Mahomes really got it. He, he got it, got it. You, you know what I'm saying? It's going to be a lot of imitations out there. You feel me? A lot of people going to jock your style. They going to try to match your energy, be something just like you. But that's okay. Let them have it. They the little, they little Decepticons, little grasshoppers. They only trying to get what they what they can get. But chosen one, you gotta learn how to move in silence. And when I say that, what I mean is this: this is another thing you're gonna have to start doing when you blowing up. You can no longer hang out at mediocre places. You can't. You can't. You can't hang out at mediocre places no more. Where it's just, it's, it's, it's average people. I'm sorry to say that. I'm for everybody. But the truth of the matter is you can't hang around average people no more. And if you do hang around average people, you can't hang out with them for too long because you can only go for so long before they detect who you is. OK, keep in mind, everywhere you go, everybody's always watching. They always looking at you. They're always trying to see who got it. So that's why when you go in places like if you go to a public place, or something like that with your friends or you're going to meet somebody up somewhere you know fellas if you're going to watch a football game or something you know whatever the case may be man if you're going to a store to shop man and go get you some get you some new uh home decor or whatever the case may be you can't stay in there for too long you feel me because your energy so big it's gonna start making you hot you know what i'm saying it's gonna start making you attractive and when you got too much people that can feel your vibration and feel who you is and stuff, it, it get dangerous. It get dangerous. You feel me? So you got to get in the point. You got to get in the habit of start going places and leaving after a while. You too special to stay around like everybody else do. You know what I mean? And another thing you got to do if, if you blowing up. You got to get out of the habit of wanting to talk to people. See, some of y'all out there, some of y'all out there, y'all in a situation right now where it's all, you all by yourself. 
You ain't got nobody to call. You ain't got nobody to lean on. But this is what you wanted. This is what you wanted. It has manifested. You alone. You by yourself. This is what you wanted. Why is you complaining? You got all the time in the world to get your get all your ducks. You get all your baskets lined up to put your eggs in. You got all the time in the world to work on your dream. This is what you wanted. You don't need nobody there to I'm gonna tell them about what I'm doing. Please, y'all, listen to me in my testimony. Don't forget them. Stop calling people and gossiping. Yeah, I went and did this. Yeah, I got this done today. And you did, oh, I got this done. You would see. You should see what I bought today. Oh Lord, you should see what I bought today. Oh, body Jesus, Lord. Bro, get out of that habit of telling people about your business. You don't need to tell people about your business. They gonna find out anyway. They nosy as hell. You ain't gotta worry about your family and knowing what you accomplishing. They nosy as hell. They already looking at you anyway. Hell. You don't think they don't you don't think people don't know what you got going on. They know. They know. Like short and low, they know. They know. They done it all, done it all, done it all. They done it all, done it all. They know. Oh. You know what I'm saying? And another thing you gotta stop doing too. This is another thing I want to press on. Listen, I learned this from the rich, I learned this from the rich white people. See, the rich white people got this down pat. That's why I hang around the white people. You feel me? I'm not racist at all. I love white people. You feel me? But see, one thing that's different about them is, from black people, they don't, they don't, they not flashy. I like that. See, when you flashy, you don't do nothing but attract attention to you. You don't do nothing but make yourself... Everybody come to you and ask you for something. Can I get this? Can you give me that? Okay, you got all them diamonds on. They're going to come in. All the girls going to come to you. Hey, take me out, baby. Can you buy me something out of the Bal Bal Balenciagas? Ooh, you look good, boy. See? You, are, you attracting all that to you. You attracting people to you, Decepticons. You attract the Decepticons to you, and they ain't going to do nothing but drain your pockets. They ain't going to do nothing but waste your time, take your energy. And at the end of the day, all the stuff that you giving them, they ain't even going to be able to reciprocate it back to you. And then you're going to be looking up like, I don't even like her, man. I don't like her. Bro, you should be the one to blame because you was the one putting yourself out there, advertising everything you got. You mad because she picked the product off the shelf and started using it? <laughs> started using it? Stop being so flashy. And now when I say flashy, I, mean, I ain't trying to say be a, I ain't trying to say dress like a bum. I ain't trying to say don't take care of yourself. And I'm not trying to say be a scumbag or nothing like that. I'm just saying, turn the volume down some. You know what I'm saying? Turn the volume down some. You ain't got to be seen all the time. Ladies, y'all, y'all gotta get out of the habit of the average ladies out there. They crave attention. Oh Lord, they wanna be. I scroll through Instagram, I see the same type of robots on there posting pictures. How many is it of y'all? Look like robots. All look the same. Everybody do the same stuff. We used to it now. We, it's not even sexy no more. Ain't nobody unique. You don't see no no Erica Badu's. Ain't, ain't nobody in their unique divine feminine. Ain't no divine feminine. You know what divine means? Divine means one. Only one of, the, one of this kind. Hell, ain't no more Jill Scott's. Jill Scott's was a little bit overweight, but she still was in her own mass. She was still in her own, her own swag. Hell, nowadays, everybody just look like everybody. Trying to be attentive. Trying to get attention. Don't be like them, ladies. You don't got to need attention. It don't do nothing but make people come after you. Make people stalk you. Make people spy on you. Be, be all in your business. Be creepy, creepy people, weirdo people. Be all in your business and stuff like that. Again, I'm not trying to say go, be a hermit. 
again you see y'all gotta understand how to balance this stuff i'm not trying to say be a hermit i'm not trying to say stay be locked up in the house all day or go into a cave i'm saying be neutral show a little bit here and there again show, just be a little bit but don't go overboard extreme with it because you you'll look desperate but chosen one listen man right old man ride his bike out there he probably a millionaire got on a regular t-shirt riding a little beach cruiser down the street probably a multi-millionaire but you will never know that because he moving in silence you know what i mean another thing you got to do when you moving in silence is you know what i'm saying when you moving in silence act like a normal person you feel me like when people come up and talk to you be cool with them you know what I'm saying? This man came up to me. I was at Whole Foods yesterday. I had to go in there and give me some um some protein, some fish. My favorite, my sea bass. I had to go get me some sea bass from Whole Food Market. And I and I got me some what else? I got me a salad and I got me some beef kebabs. And um the white man that had parked beside me, we parked at the same time. This white man parked beside me. He had like this big heavy duty truck. And he seen me in the store. He came up to me. He was like, hey man. How you like that car you drive? I was like, it's all right, sir. He was like, man, that's a nice car. I was like, thank you, sir. Thank you. Very humble. He was like, I used to have a car like that, man, when I was younger. I was like, for real? He's like, yeah, man, I had this car, I had that car. He's like, he's like, man, he's like, man, um, them things fast, ain't they? I was like, yeah, man, you know. He was like, and I was like, yeah, man, I'm trying to, I'm always trying to stay out of trouble, man. I don't even speed in it or nothing, man. He was like, man, that's good. That's good. He was like, man, I used to have a whole bunch of speeding tickets. I was like, for real? He's like, yeah, man. He was like, keep that thing looking good and shiny, man. I was like, all right, man. He was like, um, well, you good, take good care of yourself now and keep being positive, man. And I say, how you know I'm positive? That's why I say to myself, how you know I'm positive? But see, I know why. It's because I wasn't all, yeah, man, that's my cup, yo, that's my, that mine, bro. What's up, dog? Yeah, hey, dog, you know what I'm saying? Ooh, thug life, man, thug life. Man, that's old. That's old. You feel me? Be humble, man, when you talk to people. Listen, man, you can make it so far in life if you just act like you just with everybody else. You on everybody else level. If you blowing up, you ain't got to let nobody know that you big, getting bigger than them. Like you, you on a different level than them. No, just chill out. Just chill, man. Like when some when you meeting people, you ain't gotta be quick to tell them what you do for a living. If you if you make music, you know what I'm saying. If you make music or if you a therapist or whatever the case, man, you ain't gotta tell nobody right off the gate what you do. Hell, I lie to them sometimes. I'd be like, I'm a basketball coach. I'd be like, basketball coach. Yep, I coach the youth. I co I coach people how to take shots in in life. Oh, word. Nice, man. Thank you so much, man. I'm a, yeah, man. I'm a, I'm a mess with you, man. Let's go play ball one day. Okay, cool, bro. You ain't got to tell everybody what you do for a living. You got to move in silence. I'm telling you, I'm telling you from experience. I'm 34 years old, yo. I done been there, done that. And I realized over time that half of the stuff that I was doing, it never really got me nowhere. But I started getting places in my life when i start when i stopped letting everybody in my business and i stopped trying to be seen all the time now i'm just like now i'm the type of person now i'm like i'm like you you like me i'm just like you know i'm moving asylum i'm just kicking it nobody would ever think i'm a youtube vlogger walking around these neighborhoods and stuff with my camera they wouldn't ever think it because i'm just cooling with it you know what I'm saying? So, so move in silence. If you blowing up, man, if you really want to blow up, move in silence. Listen, your blow up going to come. Your blow up going to come at the perfect time. You don't need to let people is people don't determine when you blow up. Only God determine. Only God knows what you're doing behind closed doors. And he going to he the one that's going to give you the increase and the blessing. People not going to do it. When you right with God, when you got him first, when you keep Jesus number one in your life, God, God is going to grant you. He's going to blow you up. 
right in front of people's eyes. And they're going to be like, they're going to be right in front of people's eyes. They're going to be like, how he do that? He didn't never tell me about it. He don't got to tell you about it. How he do that? He ain't ask me for no money. He didn't ask me to come and help him. He don't got to ask you to come and help him. He had God with him. God is the only one he was reporting to. See, people will make you think if you ain't got them around to, to, for them to help you, you ain't never going to be nothing. That's what they want you to think. They want to trick you into thinking it. They want to trick you into thinking you need me. You need me. And if you don't got me, you ain't nobody. Boy, God got, some, God got somebody around the corner 30 times better than them. <laughs> Trust me. They just think they was the, the hottest thing for you. They ain't the hottest thing for you. They was semi hot. But if you put your trust in God, bro, he going to blow you up right in front of your enemy's faces. Trust and believe that. Trust and believe that. They going to be like, they going to be like, dang, I used to, I remember, I remember them. You know what I'm saying? They going to be like, I remember them, man. I used to talk to him. I used to talk to her, man. I used to kick it with her, man. Same person that did you wrong. Yeah, I used to know her. You know what I'm saying? Just like my girl who got an idea stolen by her best friend. Dang, I used to know her. Dang, now she big time. Yeah, you just, you stole her idea. Now God made her your, your foot. God made you her footstool. See, that's one thing you got to understand, folks. God keep track of everything that people do. People don't think he is. But you can't escape God's fate. I'm going to say that one more time. People think that they fool God. God watching everything, everybody moves. He know who do he did. He know who did what. He know if you did this. He know if you did that. You ain't even gotta tell him. He know. And God gonna bless you according to what you have done behind the scenes when he was watching. That's the only thing that matters. So if anybody stole from you, if anybody uh if anybody did you wrong, or whatever the case may be, don't worry about it. Don't even try to get reaction out of it. Don't even try to. Don't even try to get no revenge or nothing. Just let it go. Be positive. And just let them have it. Okay, you won. Okay, cool. Keep it moving. Bye. See you. Bye. Because guess what? God going to make you blow up at the end of the day. Comment below and say, big bro, you talking about me. I'm about to blow up. Just comment below and say, big bro, you talking about me. I'm about to blow up. Listen. This is the message that God had for you. He wants you to stop. He wants you to stop letting everybody know what he's doing for you. See, one thing you got to understand is this too. You got to understand. What God got for you is not what everybody, it's not for everybody. Y'all got to stop thinking, this is a blessing and everybody need to get some of it. No, they don't. Get stingy with your stuff. Don't be feeling bad because you doing right by God and he blessing you and he ain't blessing them. The reason why he ain't blessing them the way he blessing you is I don't know. That's their relationship with him. But if you got a good relationship with the most high God, it ain't your responsibility to give what God blessing you with to somebody else. Not unless he really told you to do it. But don't feel bad about being stingy with what you earning and what you making. See, half of y'all ain't got what you deserve in your life because you've been giving it away to everybody every damn body and they mama stop giving your stuff away to people keep what you got you ought to be a, a damn millionaire by now much stuff god done gave you but guess what you did you gave it all away you gave it all away. i learned to keep my stuff now i used to be just like that too i used to everything i get i give it to somebody man i got tired of being broke like i'm broke every time i look up i ain't got no money man Guess what? I keep my stuff now. It's my stuff. You know why? Because when you work for your stuff, it's yours. You earned it. Don't never let me don't never let people come into your life and make you think what you earned is theirs. No, it's not. That's yours. Somebody comment below and say, mine's is mine's. Don't feel bad about it. See, that's what they want you to do. They want you to feel they want you to play victim role when you don't help them out. They want you to feel like you did them bad when you don't give them what God gave you. Comment below and say, this is my stuff. You know what I'm talking about? Hell. If you putting in that work, you deserve a good time, baby. Huh? If you putting in that work, baby, you deserve to go to the spa and get you a treatment. Huh? If, they, if your friends can't go, hey, so what, eh? I'm going. 
Huh? Yeah. If you get a massage, you want a massage today, but we'll go get you a massage today, huh? Serve yourself. Yo, you put that work in, boo. You want to take a vacation trip and go somewhere before it get too cold, baby, go. If your friends, your your family can't go so and so, this is my stuff. Somebody comments below and say, this is my stuff, big bro. I'm going to do what I want to do. Chosen one. You the chosen one. What, that's one thing you got to understand about the chosen one. You chosen one. Don't feel bad about it. You ain't here to please nobody. You only here to please God. And that's it. Move in silence. If you are blowing up. When you move in silence. And stop being a hothead. Stop being a gangster. Stop trying to be a thug. And move with some respect. Because you respect yourself, you will move in silence. You don't need to show nobody what you're doing. You don't need to tell about your business. Keep it to yourself. And you'll go far in life. Trust and believe that. Keep your stuff to yourself, man. No, nobody need to know how much money in your bank account. Only thing they need to know is you happy. Somebody comment below and say, I'm happy, big bro. I'm going to have a good day. Thank y'all so much for tuning in to this video, man. Stay tuned. Hit the subscribe button if it resonated with you. I'm going to make another video today. Make sure you turn that bell notification on, man. I'll see y'all. I'm about to go get me some lunch. Peace.